hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video gladys here welcome back to gladys to be a living clutter free guys you do not want to skip through this video this is going to be a video that might transform your 2024 is very informative i want to tell you guys about the benefits of minimalism how it transformed my life and what you should become a minimalist too if that's something you want to do stay tuned guys you may wonder guys minimalism has become a trend where people or everybody wants to become a minimalist everybody call themselves minimalist or whatever minimalism is not a trend it is a lifestyle it's the way you live your lifestyle on a day-to-day -day basis your wardrobe your mindset including your phone the things that the junks the emails everything it's like it's living this peaceful and serene life how by reducing and living with less guys the first thing that is a benefit of minimalism that will change your life is saving money yes you may wonder what is minimalism have to do with saving money guys if you're living with less you're spending less you're buying less junk it's not just how to decorate your space because people decorate a space very minimally. I would say a lot of people I follow decorate a space very clean, very nice, but it is what is in your cupboard that nobody sees. It's what you're hiding, the shoes in the closet, the shoes in the garage, the clothes, everything that you're purchasing that you do not need because you might have an exterior or an interior that looks minimalistic. It does not make you a minimalist. Some people just don't like clutter. It does not make them a minimalist. Minimalism helps you save money because you're less at the store you're finding things to enjoy life with which you're not spending a bunch of money into things i go to the store right and i walk around and prior to minimalistic tendency prior to living this lifestyle literally go to the store walk around guys and i'm like oh i love this i can use this here right i i purchased something to try to find where to put it when i didn't need it i didn't need it in the first place that is what you call a waste of money. It's not saving anything. It's not saving money. I love home decor. As I mentioned to you guys previously, I love how clean lines, how things look. But now I'm intentional with my money. Guys. I literally go to the store. There's this um, quote or video that I saw of this. I think I, think I read it somewhere where this guy, a uh, long time prior to uh, um, BC, he used to go to the marketplace and he goes to the store and look around. And people used to see him there every week, every weekend. And they ask, why do you keep coming here? He said, I love coming to the marketplace. I love coming here to see the things I do not miss, to see the things I can live without. And it's the same thing. Sometimes I will go to the store, I will walk into Ross, walk into restoration hardware and things. And I'm like, I do not need this or I can budget for this in years to come. So I'm literally saving so much money. So the first thing that I wanted to bring out to you guys was that not only would you save so much money, guys, you can put that money somewhere else. Number two, benefits of minimalism guys is having more space i wish there was an echo 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 it's having more space in your home guys america or united states is one of the places where i have lived in where people have so much space yet still have no space at all and it's mind-boggling to me where people enter into their home and they're still asking for more space and I'm, a, a family of three literally can live in a 2500 square foot and still complain of space and no one sees the junk no one sees the extra things that are there that are not necessary to live with it's a want, it's not a need. So minimalism helps you to live with so much more space. I walk around, I'm like, I like seeing this blank wall. <laughs> I walk around, I'm like, I love seeing the floor. I want to see spaces. I, it just brings me so much joy to know my kids can run around, throw balls, throw football, even though I tell them, don't play inside the house, you're going to break my vases. <laughs> But they are free. There's not junk everywhere. In my garage, even though it's a little bit dusty, but it's literally decluttered. It's free. The things that are kept there or the things that we are using on a daily basis, it helps you with having so much space. Number three, guys, this also helps you with so much time. 
it is one of the benefits of minimalistic tendency guys or min or minimalism you should say is that you have so much time do you see the face the joy that i'm having in my face right now you have the time that you need because you are not putting that time into decluttering you are not putting that time into cleaning my saturdays are not meant for cleaning anymore i take my kids to the mall i take my kids to the beach i take my kids to the park we are having fun with hobby we are not sitting there washing dishes sitting there doing this and if you have not seen my previous video that i mentioned to you how you can go ahead and get rid of clutter and declutter around your house and things like that to keep a clutter free home watch it guys i will link it below doing things as you go helps you keep and maintain a home clutter free and minimalist and keeping your home beautiful styled or clean or whatever is that you prefer but it does that so that you have bunches of time to do other things instead of me waking up in the morning and start washing dishes start cleaning the laundry because we have so much clothes to do start picking up pillows here this dusting here dusting there no guys i'm literally tell my daughter make your room tell my son pick up the things from that you change into and i make their bed i make my bed we can take literally this house is almost 2000 square foot and we can take less than 30 minutes to clean the whole entire house it's not my deep clean okay <laughs> to clean the whole entire house and we are gone everybody showers brush their teeth and we are having so much fun when we come the kids are so tired we crush we go to sleep that's the lifestyle that i want i want to explore i want to go out there instead of living saturday morning for bunches of stuff to do if you have less things and you are keeping up with it guys you will take back your time let's continue guys minimalism and the benefits of minimalism also helps you with less stress and anxiety guys i have not been diagnosed with a specific ocd but i know myself i have ocd I just know it. I just have not gone to the hospital to get a final diagnostic and I'm good with that. But I like things to be clean. I like things to look clean. And what minimalism does, it helps you with that stress and anxiety. I get very anxious around dirt. I get very anxious around things. I literally, I, I my brain does not compute with so much stuff. I feel like I should be putting things away. So when you come to my home, you won't see things out of uh, a space. And my home is lived in. I have seen, I've shown you guys so many videos. My home is lived in. And that's what gives me the freedom to live in it. Because we are, there's nothing to, to clutter it. We are enjoying the kids are jumping on couches, sitting on, on floors, uh, eating chips and ice cream at the dining table. We are actually enjoying every spaces because there's nothing to clutter my brain. So guys, it helps you with anxiety. Are you always anxious when you come home? When you open that front door and you're looking at your entryway, do you shoes? Do you see shoes piled all the way up? Do you see your, what is it called? Your mud room with mud. <laughs> I don't have a mud room, but if I was a person who had a mud room, guys, it would be so cute. <laughs> Do you see your mud room piled up with so much shoes, rain boots and uh, coats, summer coat, winter coat, whatever? Does it bring you anxious? Does it bring you anxiety, guys? Does it stress the brain out of you? Guys, minimalism, that's one of the benefits. It has helped me reduce the stress, reduce anxiety. I still feel a little OCD-ish anxious when it comes to cleaning around because i'm a type of person i clean top i clean top to bottom that's why i clean as i go because if you let it go for more than a day i clean top to bottom that that's what it is <laughs> so minimalism guys helps you with less stress and anxiety let's continue this is one of my favorite actually guys minimalism one of its benefits is no comparison guys i am not comparing myself my kids my home my clothing to anybody i think if you look at some of my video you might have seen this skirt like four or five times i am not comparing anything anymore to anybody guys 
we are loving and we are enjoying what we have we have fine contentment in it you know i can show a video of a house tour and show you my kitchen with a fridge that is 10 years old and i am okay with it it works it keeps my water cold keeps my meat frozen my kids are using it i don't see any fingerprints because it's not um fancy stainless steel hopefully i will get stainless steel one day but for now i love it it's simple my tile floor my floor it's nothing is perfect i am not watching somebody else's video and be like oh i gotta change this no when i'm watching i'm like oh this is nice this is inspiring me i gotta go clean <laughs> i'm not comparing my home to anybody so this is a benefit of that are you one of the type of people that love home decor or you love a clean home or you love this and that and you're watching youtube you're watching instagram especially instagram that place is full of things that you're like bruh is it a place that makes you feel like, oh my God, my home is not worth it. It's not worthy. Do, can I even show it? Sometimes when I do a house tour, I'm like, Gladys, what is it that you're showing here? <laughs> but you guys keep coming. You keep viewing. You keep watching. You keep subscribing. You say that my home is realistic. It inspires you because I'm just being myself. My kids, I showed you guys my kids' bedroom last time. And the bed was wrinkly, wrinkly because it came out of the machine and I knew I had a video to do and I was not about to iron the bed sheet. So I just placed it in there and it looked clean. It was clean and I placed it in there and you guys love that video. Currently that video is ranking so high and it's my house tour. So I am not the type of person to compare myself, but previously I have done that, you know? So hopefully this helps you a lot, guys. This is also, if you have not taken anything out of this, hopefully you take this as a tip. Less cleaning and less organization. Because, again, let me take a, an example of my sister-in-law. She was talking with me, because it's one of the person I talk a lot, a lot with, and um, she has decluttered her home. She has organized her home. And uh, when we were talking, and uh, she's about to have a baby like me, and then we were talking about the baby that she's going to have, and I was like, oh my God, the baby's going to go everywhere, running and screaming and things. And she's like, well, there's nothing for the baby to be able to mess up here or do anything here. There's nothing much in here. <laughs> and that just click, it makes sense. There's less cleaning. I don't think she even touched her living room if she should probably fluff some pillows. My living room, and I tell this to people, and I tell this to people all the time. People think I always clean. I haven't cleaned that living room in a long time. There's less cleaning. Literally, it stays. If the most thing I clean is my dishes and my, my, my kitchen. I um, fix my bed. But there's less cleaning and there's less organization. I'm not saying that you won't organize because I love organization. There's certain things when, when I look in my closet, I'm like, okay, hubby's clothes can be here, my clothes can be there. And I organize a little bit of paper clutter and stuff like that. I still love to organize, but it's not something you gotta do all the time because when you have a cluttered home, what you have to do is clean a lot. Unless you're the type of person that is a hoarder, you keep a lot of things and you don't like cleaning, that's different. But you're picking up, you're dusting, you're picking up, you're fixing. So there's so much more to it. But when it comes to this, you are not cleaning that much. Guys, you're not organizing that much. Thank me later. That's the benefits of minimalism. If anything I have said here has touched you, guys go ahead and click on that like button and subscribe for more videos i bring videos every week to inspire you every friday mountain certain time 4 p.m to inspire you how to keep your house clean stay tuned for the next video we are going to do a warm minimalistic house tour because a lot of people think minimalism is very cold and dirty uh, and, and not dirty it's very cold and uh what is it called and um sterile not in my case uh i live in a very warm and, and i'm going to show you guys how i create that and do a little house tour following that so definitely stay tuned god bless you guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos coming your way till next time bye bye